I started to dig it and then I said, oh, let's get the camera on. It's such a, such a good signal. Let me show you. You can see that. 29.30. So let's pinpoint. Right about there. Let's get out the pinpointer. right in that pocket oh is it a coin oh it's a coin <laughs> oh man that's awesome that's in great shape too let's see what it is matron head scent maybe i'm not sure Eight, no, I can, at least I can give you the date off it, let's say. Let's put it in the sun. 1818. So yeah, that's in really good shape too, it looks like. So definitely going to have to come back here. Today we're at kind of a brand new spot. I've never been here before. Uh, I'm just kind of walking around. Marked a few spots on the... Um, on the GPS to check out. We're almost near one of them, but I just kind of wanted to show you this. But I stopped right here. So after kind of a rain, if you go out in the woods a little later, you'll find all these um, newts. I believe they're newts up here in the eastern United States. They all come out of under the leaves, uh, wherever it is they hang out, and they're everywhere. And I'm being careful not to step on them, but let me show you some of them. I mean, they're just, you know, there's one right there. See them? And there's big ones, little ones. If you just look around, you'll see about a few of them out here. But they're everywhere. Because they are, there's another one right there. I don't want to pick them up and disturb them. There's another one there. They're just kind of everywhere. Yep. That's a bigger one, isn't it? Check this out. This is kind of, I'd say I'm about a mile and a half in the woods. Think some kids were out here making this or? something else I just kind of wanted to show you this cool little area because there was a number of, of uh, mills that uh, ran off this brook here so we're gonna keep an eye out for those too but it's just a real kind of pretty spot I like looking in these these areas where rocks accumulate around bends and things because that's where I seem to have the most luck of finding things like kind of right over in there where it kind of turns and kind of can collect things. That's where I saw that large fish, bigger fish. Don't see anything now except some water bugs. Excuse me. Very out of breath. I just walked up kind of this big ravine. And kind of when I was at the bottom, I looked up and it kind of startled me a little bit. So I thought there was a large house or a a house kind of right in the middle of the woods and I was thinking great uh, turns out it was these two gigantic boulders let me show you from way down it had the silhouette of like a, a house those are absolutely gigantic just imagine the uh, the glaciers moving those years ago crazy let's just take a quick walk around Oh, there's an old bucket, so people were up here. Right there. An old one of those little galvanized buckets. Oh, look at that. How many hunters are just people walking around? Even the colonial times took shelter under that. From rainstorms, snow, who knows? Native Americans probably were under there too. So the big rock is, uh, that I was just I was over there didn't find too much, just a lot of trash. Lots of tin and can and things like that. But I was getting a really good signal from down here. And I just pulled up this little button right here. Shank's broken off and I can't really see any inscriptions on the back, but... No. Well, we'll clean it up a little bit when we get home. But I don't think that was the target I was after, because the target I was after I think is still... 
down in here I can feel something so I don't know if that was it but let me pull the I'm getting about a 1920 on the equinox so um, let me position the camera and we'll pull it up together so as I was heading back to the truck um, right here and I'm not really sure what it is eh, might be an Indian head but I'm not entirely sure so I have to clean that off when we get home a little bit and um kind of a happy surprise so um I'm gonna go around a little more slowly in this area. Excuse me if the camera's a little, well, I gotta wipe it off, hold on. Now there's no indications that there was a home site here, but you know, it could have been. After I pulled up that coin, just kind of pulled up this. Here, shank's still intact. So uh, it figures I'm running out of time. I gotta be getting home, help my mom with something. So um, gonna have to remember this area, come back to it. Mm -hmm. 